Okay, so this PowerPoint presentation is going to be on anaplasma and urbicchia. So the epidemiology um, of these two bacteria, uh, depending on the what, where you can find them, so depending on the species of urbicchia, important res reservoirs are the white-tailed deer, white-footed mouse, chipmunks, wolves, and canines. Uh, so ticks live on these animals, and uh, ticks are a very important vector um, uh, for these two organisms. So a little bit of background on the genera of Ehrlichia and Anaplasma. They both consist of intracellular, they are, sorry, um, intracellular bacteria that parasitize granulocytes, monocytes, erythrocytes, and platelets. So jumping real quick to biology, virulence, and disease. So some background um, on these two bacteria, I'm kind of classing these together. So the cell wall structure of um, Ehrlichia and Anaplasma is similar to that of gram-negative bacteria. Um, but, however, the bacteria lack genes for synthesis of pepti peptidoglycan, or LPS, or which is um, lipopolysaccharides. In addition, many of these genes um, of the glyco glycolic pathway are also absent. A number of protein antigens are shared among species in these genera, as well as with species of other genera. For this reason, cross-reactive antibodies are commonly observed. So like I said, I'm going to restate here, so there's a very small intracellular bacteria that stain poorly with the gram stain. Um, that rep replicates in phagosomes of infected cells, and uh, intracellular, intracellular growth uh, protects the bacteria from immune clearance. If you, if you can look in the background of this photo, you can actually see that happening. Um, they also have the ability to prevent fusion of phagosome with lysome of monocytes and gran granulocytes. Diseases are human monocytic erythrocytosis, I butchered that, sorry, and human anaplasmosis, formerly called human granulocytic erythro. I can't say that word, apologies. So the disease continues. So the diseases of the United States are commonly, are most common in the southeastern and mid-Atlantic, Midwestern and South Central states. Diseases are most common in April, um, to October, these are the, uh, I guess, the population to where the ticks can become more proficient, more um, prevalent because of the animals are, you know, up and about. It's not so cold anymore. So, so some common facts of um, Ehrlichia and Anaplasma. Um, if you look, I have two little charts here. Um, I know the anaplasma is kind of looked over, but I'll just read it, read it off to you. So the diseases, it tells you the reservoir host, um, the vectors. You can just kind of pick and choose what you want to take from this um, PowerPoint slide. Um, but yeah. And the part that's covered up, um, I'm going to read it to you. So um, under the phagocytophyllum, um, the diseases of the human granulocytic anaplasmosis in the geographic distribution regions um, would be North and South America, Europe, and Asia. So the laboratory diagnosis for these two types of bacteria, so microscopy has limited value because the bacteria stains poorly with the gram stain and detection of intracytoplasmic inclusions. Um, from this stain, preparations of peripheral blood is only useful during the first week of the illness, so it's very hard to, to culture it, or very hard to um, um, get a, an accurate reading. So ser sero serology um, and DNA probe tests are methods of choice, and uh, treatment, the Rx here, is oxycycline, that is the drug of choice. Prevention also involves avoidance of tick-infested areas, and as of right now, there are no vaccines available. So um, I hope this video was helpful and um, hope to see you guys next time.